obviously today you announced your retirement. Is this the decision that you've been you know, thinking about for a long time or how did you finally decide to make this decision? Um, you know, I've been thinking about going to med school for a very long time. I, you know, it's been something that I've wanted to do really since I was a little kid. And um, I actually applied in 2011 and I think, you know, just over the years and over the last few years, I've kind of a, felt a shift in my soccer career. And I think, you know, I always love soccer, but I just kind of know inside that it's time to move on. And I'm just really excited to pursue this next dream of mine. Um, Where it's kind of how things went with the U.S. national team and the injuries, is, is that kind of contributed or was it already something that you were thinking about doing regardless? Um, I think both, for sure. I think, you know, um, the injuries and, you know, not making the World Cup roster and some of those things definitely contributed. Um, but as well, kind of just like the time where I'm at in my life, you know, I turned 30 actually tomorrow and, um, and med school has just been something I've really wanted to do for a long time and it's, it's a long process and it's something that I wanted to get started with kind of, you know, regardless. Um, so it just, it just felt right. You mentioned that uh, in your letter that, you know, you had thought about going to med school and then you got called into the U.S. camp. How did, um, I guess that kind of change your life and why did you decide um, ultimately to want to pursue your soccer career and put this on hold? Um, yeah, so it was just really interesting timing. I think for me after graduating Stanford, um, I really hadn't quite, you know, made it, made the jump to the full national team and, and I really wanted to go to medical school and I was just planning on that and then kind of right around that same time I did get called in and then all of a sudden I was going to the Olympics and all of a sudden, you know, things were going really well and I kind of think life just took me on a different course. You know, I, I love soccer and that was um, a course that I was really enjoying and, and feel so fortunate to have had and so I think I just kind of went with it, you know, and, and um, I'm so happy that I did. So you've uh, played on a lot of teams in your professional <laughs> career but you go to end here in Portland where, you know, the fans are kind of unique to women's soccer. What, what's that like for you playing here and um, getting to play your final game here? I mean, I feel so fortunate to have been able to play in Portland for, you know, three seasons. I was a founding member of the team and, um, you know, this is just the best soccer city in the world, I think. And um, it's been incredible to have these fans, you know, just cheering for us every game. And um, you just feel part of the greater community of the fans in the city. And it's just a really special feeling. And I, I feel very connected to all of that. So to be able to end my career here and you know, thank the fans and really, um, you know, kind of, you know, be honored in such a wonderful place. I just, um, I'm very excited for that and I feel very fortunate. And so when do you uh, leave for medical school? Uh, early Monday morning. <laughs> the orientation starts on Monday, so it's going to be uh, hectic, but yeah. What's it like for you being able to like go back to school and, you know, just being able to kind of do a whole new chapter of life after dedicating it to soccer for so long? Um, I think I have like a mixture of emotions. I'm really excited. I'm definitely nervous. You know, I haven't um, been in that groove for a while and, you know, it, studying and all of that was something I was really good at at one point, but I need to like, <laughs> you know, reach back and, and rekindle my studying skills. But, um, but I'm overall, I'm just really excited and, and it's something I've been thinking about and wanting to do for a long time. So um, to be able to start this next, next chapter is um, very cool for me. What's, and what's your ultimate goal uh, to pursue in medicine? You know, I'm not totally sure. Uh, I think I'm interested in a lot of different things. I've actually uh, shadowed our team doctor here. Um, she does ER and sports med, and so that was fun to shadow her. But really, I'm pretty open to a lot of things. So we'll see. Maybe I'll be a team doctor one day. <laughs>